Hi and welcome to today's live stream here from Lugosol uh, in Härnösand, Sweden. Lugosol Portable Sawmills. Uh, this is the Eng English live stream, so hopefully Gary, you are with us this time. Uh, today we are going to have a look at the F2 and F2 Plus chainsaw mills to uh, give you an idea of the differences and which uh, chainsaw mill that suits you best. If you want to know more about Lugosol and our products and find pricing and uh, technical information, please head over to our webpage, uh, lugosol.com. Uh, you can also find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Just search for Lugosol Portable Sawmills. We have done quite a few uh, live streams up until now, so if you want to see the previous live streams, you can find them both on Facebook and YouTube. So, Anton, today let me check. We have the chat uh, open, of course, both on uh, YouTube and Facebook. So if you have questions, just let us know in the comment section. everything running uh, let's see I don't have the Facebook stream up just yet but the uh, YouTube stream seems to be running and you know what that's because I'm on the Swedish Facebook page oh. Uh, that explains a lot, actually. But as you just, just said, we're live on both YouTube and Facebook, so if you have any questions during the video, please feel, feel free to ask them. It's our pleasure to, uh, to answer them. Great. Perfect. Here we go. Uh, we have the YouTube stream and the Facebook stream. Fantastic. So, uh, welcome to this Milling Monday. We have beautiful weather here in uh, Härnösand, Sweden. Uh, Härnösand is a family-owned... Uh, Härnösand, Lugosol, is a family-owned business uh, with its headquarter here in the north part of Sweden. Uh, and as I said previously, we are uh, going to have a look on the F2 and F2 Plus chainsaw mills. Uh, both the F2 and F2 Plus chainsaw mills uh, is um, versatile, are a versatile uh, chainsaw mill, uh, and it's modular in its designs. So you you are able to both expand uh, your sawmill and add on accessories to get a sawmill that suits your need uh, best. Hmm. So let's head over to the um, F2 chainsaw mill. Perfect. Uh, all of our chainsaw mills, both the F all of our chainsaw mills, both the F2 and F2 Plus chainsaw mills, they always come with this uh, chainsaw carriage. And as standard, they are push feed. So you push the uh, chainsaw through the log or the guide bar and chain. Uh, this F2 sawmill that we have right here uh, is an extended version. So this is the F2 5 meter, uh, and as you can see, we have three log lifters. And this is probably the configuration I prefer the most, because you have the options to saw uh, really uh, long logs. And between those two log lifters here, you have only one meter uh, space, which means you can mill 
short logs as well, which is a great combo that you can uh, choose between short or long logs. So very good setup, the, the F2 and F2 Plus in standard configuration, they are four meter long with two log lifters. And you have two meter between each log lifter. So it's, that's the basic setup. And then you can uh, add extensions and extend it basically as long as you uh, require. Uh, the F2 and F2 Plus chainsaw mills are um, made of aluminum. Uh, they are made to last and they can be outside without uh, rusting. So they are very uh, robust and they will last you a long, long time. Uh, the F2 chainsaw mill can handle logs up to 50 centimeters in diameter, so a log that is 20 inches in diameter. Uh, as I mentioned, the chainsaw carriage is included, so you can bolt on uh, your own chainsaw or you can purchase a steel a uh, chainsaw or a husky chainsaw. As long as you have these two guide bar bolts uh, go coming out from the cover on the side, you can attach your chainsaw to the chainsaw carriage. Uh, the chainsaw we're running here now is the steel MS661. Uh, it's got the uh, bar nose uh, support, bar nose steering, and it's got the crank uh, feed system. So the crank feed system, instead of pushing it, you actually winch the guide bar and chain through the log. Uh, easy and comfortable. Uh, working with the Lugosul chainsaw mills is easy and you have the log in a very good position and you basically handle everything when you're milling from one side of the sawmill uh, which makes the operation really quick and easy compared to milling on a banzo mill for example where you have to walk around the saw head uh, to be able to change or move the log between each uh, cut. So, uh, what we are going to do now is uh, we have a cant here that we made before. So we are going to turn the cant up and make a test run with the uh, Steel 661. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the push feed. So instead of cranking it forward, we're just going to push it uh, through the log and then afterwards I'll uh, show you how it is to operate it with the with the crank feed, and it's it's quite similar, but crank feed is a bit more comfortable. And um, yeah, I told you that you're going to operate the saw from one side, but if you left the tools on the other side, you have to walk around it. As long as we have a, a milled side in the bottom, we can use all three log lifters as support. And that gives you the benefit of the log being straight all the time. If you have a very long distance between the log lifters, uh, the, the cant or the log tend to bend down between the log lifters or uh, where the log goes out beside the, the log lifters on the on the outside of the log lifters. So I'm going to, since we're uh, raising it up or tilting it up, we will have a side that's not milled underneath. So I'm gonna lower the middle uh, log lift so that it doesn't interfere with the, with the log resting on the two outer, outermost log lifters. So we'll uh, 
turn it up like that and we will take the log clamps and the log clamps are included with both the F2 and F2 Plus and these are the new XL log clamps. I'll just get the I'll just get the protection here protection earmuffs cuffs So we'll try first with the push feed and then we'll lift it up for another Cut, lift it up for another cut and just try it with the hand crank. Perfect. Yeah, and still, still quite easy. I mean, if you push, if you put some weight to it, it's it's not that that hard to operate. Mm. Uh, and now we are going to set it inch board, which means that we raise it up, and the um, lifting system has inking system has increments of quarter of an inch, uh, which is what the curve is on the uh, chain and guide bar. So we'll uh, lift it up here. Five clicks, so five increments, which means we have four increments for the one inch board we're going to make and one extra click for the curve. And we do the same thing on both sides. So we get an even board. Nice. Really nice. And look at this surface. 
it is amazing what you can do with a not quite a regular chain but but you understand the idea a chain and a guide bar the you get a really smooth and absolutely straight surface uh, the uh, chains we're using for our Logosol chainsaw mills are the uh, steel 63 PMX chain. So it's a ripping chain from steel. Leaves a really nice finish. So let's go back and Perfect. see if we have some questions. Uh, let's see, we have a question on Facebook from Paul. Uh, what size chainsaw do you recommend? Uh, at least if you are milling on the F2 and logs up to 20 inches, I would say go with the biggest possible chainsaw. Mm. It'll, it'll be more, more fun and easy to use. But at least minimum 60, 70 cc's is, uh, is a good number to, to aim at. And four and a half, five horse powered. Uh, in terms of um, brands and, and marks and models, I would say the Husky 572 XP is a good choice uh, as a minimum or if you're looking at steel uh, we are using the steel ms391 mm. as a in-step model basic model if you if you're not milling that much uh, those are good mm. good chainsaws to um, to choose uh, if um, if we're looking at a chainsaw mill and, and we're using it quite a lot, and um, I would say the steel 661, MS 661 that we're using now is a really good option and what we recommend. Uh, looking at Husky, I would say the, the Husky 590, I think it is, mm. the 590 XP is uh, or 585 uh, those are really good options if you want a a bit more powerful uh, chainsaw to use so a very very good question uh, happy that we uh, that we have some questions it always makes the stream a bit more uh, more interesting so, uh, we have talked a bit about the F2. Uh, looking at the F2 Plus, uh, we have a few differences, but uh, in the terms of capacity, F2 uh, logs up to 50 centimeters or 20 inches. And with this one, uh, you can go up to 70. Exactly, the F2 Plus up to and 70 centimeters is 29 inches so a, a maximum a recommended maximum log uh, diameter um, so that's perhaps the, the biggest question um, biggest difference in terms of uh, capacity uh, and to be able to handle uh, larger logs on the f2 plus we have wider log beds uh, we have a different uh, gear ratio on the uh, log lifters mm. so it's easier to handle these uh, bigger logs on the f2 plus of course uh, it's possible to mill logs that are a bit larger both on the f2 and f2 plus if you have just a few larger logs you can you can handle it but it's it's not as easy as handling logs 
uh, in the size we, we recommend. But it, it's possible if you have one or two oversized logs that you can still fit on the sawmill with a longer guide bar, you can just split them up and take care of them and uh, then mill up the, the smaller pieces uh, more conveniently on the, on the log beds. Uh, we have another difference on the F2 Plus as well, and that is in terms of portability and ease of setting the mill up in a new uh, place, on, mm. on a new place. Or uh, We have the guide rails, the F2 and F2 Plus, they both uh, share the same guide rail system. Uh, but on the F2 Plus, uh, we have split up the log lifter sections into two pieces, which means that you can set up the F2 Plus, uh, align the guide rails, uh, tighten everything up, and when you want to move it, you can just lift off the whole guide rail assembly, uh, which means that when you are moving it from one side to another it's really easy to get it up and running again because you have the guide rail all set up mm. the log lifters are set up and just uh, fewer parts to transport fewer parts to transport and uh, easier to get it up and running on the f2 on the other hand you have to take more things apart uh, to be able to move it mm. so it takes a bit longer to get it up and uh, running again uh, when you move it from one side to, to another. So that makes the F2 Plus perhaps stand out a bit more uh, from the F2. So it just depends uh, what you are after in terms of portability and capacity, log dimensions. If you're just handling logs up to 20 inches, the F2 is a perfect choice. And an extended F2, you can handle logs up to 8, 10 meters long, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you have those logs that are above 20 inches, but up to 28, 29 inches, then the F2 Plus is a, an even better choice. And if you want it to be extra portable or you want to mill on different sites and have the ease of use and ease of setting it up uh, on these new sites. The F2 Plus is has an advantage mm, there. A bit more comfortable. A bit more comfortable, easier, yeah. uh, quicker to set up. You don't lose time by doing it. Uh, but since the guide rails are exactly the same on the F2 and F2 Plus, uh, all the different saw units fit on the F2 and F2 Plus. For example, we have the chainsaw carriage that in, that's included. We have the electric chainsaws, the ES5 and ES8. Uh, those are three-phase, 400 volt and uh, 50 hertz uh, machines. We have the log molder. We have a log molder that's suited for a chainsaw as well. And we have the three-phase log molders. So mm. all of these different saw and molding units uh, will fit uh, both the F2 and F2 Plus and the older chainsaw mills, M7, M8, uh, for example. Um... Let's see. Do you have any questions? Scott, yeah, we have a question from Scott. If we'll, uh, if we'll show the timber jig. Unfortunately, we don't have the timber jig uh, set up here. Uh, but the timber jig is a good solution for milling logs up to a 60 three centimeters or so 25 inches and you mill the logs where they lay on the ground. Mm. So a good option if you're on a budget or if you want to be super portable 
Um, and of course, you can build sort of a sawmill setup with the timber jig and guide rail system as well. Uh, if you download the, um, the user manual for the timber jig or the, it was previously called the big mill system on our homepage, uh, there is an, um, an instruction to show you how to build like a mini sawmill mm. um, where you can have it more stationary uh, set up. So you can use the timber jig with guide rail system um, out in the forest or home in the yard. Um, but if you want to take it to the next level and use it more as a stationary chainsaw mill, you can actually use the same system, the guide rail holders, the guide rails, uh, uh, fix it to a, a wooden construction like a, a log ladder where you can load the logs and then you have one step towards like an F2 or an F2 plus uh, chainsaw mill. So uh, a really good uh, good option if you want to. And also we have a lot of customers that have both. They have an F2 or an F2 plus chainsaw mill. Uh, stationary, they have the timber jig and the guide rail system mm. which they use when they want to go out in the in the woods to, to take care of some logs. So it's a good complement as well. Um, so that, that was Scott uh, about the timber jig. Uh, I love the idea of the port mill but would we'll love to see the option of Larger diameter logs without going for the price gap. What's the next available option? Uh, if we look at the F2 and F2 Plus, we have log dimensions up to 28 inches. Uh, above that, uh, we offer both the big mill solution which can handle logs up to 80 inches in diameter it's still a, a chainsaw mill solution mm. with double-ended guide bars and, and a big uh, chainsaw but instead of going to for example looking at the bandsaw mills we have uh, the b751 or the b1001 where you can handle larger logs in a higher capacity uh, compared to the big mill, uh, which means that you're slabbing up really huge uh, logs mm. in a way. So in the bandsaw mill, if you're handling a larger amount of logs, it's easier. Uh, but the big mill, if you want to take care of uh, these really huge logs, which you can't do with a chainsaw mill like the F2 or F2 Plus. So that's uh, the big mill. So have a look at that. If you go to logoswool.com, you can find more information. Uh, let's see. It's very sunny here, so it's a bit yeah, hard yeah. To it's read. a bit, a bit uh, difficult to to read on the screen, but I think I I got everything for perfect for now. And Scott uh, tells us a bit about his background as in humanitarian relief, helping people around the world. Uh, so they are trying to develop a sustainable farm to grow and give away food, and will saw the trees to build the sheds and. I would say the uh, timber jig with guide rail option is a perfect in-step product at, at a reasonable uh, price to start milling. Mm. And as I said, it's quite easy to build your own, I mean, out of the, the logs you, you produce or, or the logs you, you um, mill, 
and the, the lumber you get, you can, you can build your own sawmill, uh, which takes the timber jig with guide rail system to the next level. So it's a, it's a really good, uh, good option to, to start with. So uh, let's have a look at the ES8 oh, and the F2 Plus. And uh, we actually showed the cables and everything in our previous live stream. So I'm just going to plug them plug back, it back in. in. Uh, so the ES8, an eight kilowatt, oh, the ES8, motor. an eight kilowatt electric motor, uh, really powerful, a three-phase motor. Uh, we have two different feed options. Uh, the one you see here is the uh, remote feed, or remote crank feed, uh, which means we have a wire going in a loop around the pulley here, so we can just crank the chainsaw, electric chainsaw forward through the log. Uh, we also have an option where we have the, the crank feed where you actually walk along ex exactly as on the uh, uh, petrol chainsaw carriage. So we have the uh, electrical connection here at the uh, um, electric saw carriage and we have the crank system so we, we winch the um, saw forward. But now this is the remote feed, so we'll uh, lift the log up, same as on the F2, we have the same increments, a uh, quarter of an inch. So five clicks for... I can see. Or actually four clicks for an inch, and then uh, the fifth click is for... Oh, or oh, um, to compensate for the cut for the curve exactly. So now we're ready to uh, mill the board. So we'll uh, perfect. Get on some put on some protection. You ready? Yep. Let's see the verdict. Looks really nice. Yeah.
Fantastic. And comparing comparing the uh, surface from a from a chain and a bandsaw blade is I mean a, a lot of people actually have have a hard time believing it but it's actually a much smoother and nicer surface from a chainsaw mill the than band. on a band and we have another advantage with the uh, guide bar and chain as well and that it it cuts much straighter mm. than than a band or a blade from a from a band saw I think we can also give the the chainsaw mill an extra star because of uh, how sturdy it is. They tend to to um, to work really well and are easy to uh, the upkeep on them is very, are tend to be very pretty easy. So they're sturdy machines. Sturdy machines, easy to use, portable. And fun. And fun. And fun. Don't forget. It most, almost the most important one. Has to be fun as well. Uh, we got a, um, a question, a follow-up question from Scott. How big of logs with timber jig with guide rail system? Uh, in, in general, logs up to 25 to 28 inches with the uh, timber jig and guide rail system is, mm. is optimal. Uh, however, you can mill logs uh, the same diameter as the guide bar you, you put on your chainsaw. So if you have a 36 inch guide bar, it is possible to attach the uh, guide rail system on a log and uh, divide it into into smaller smaller more manageable pieces depends on what you want to do of course uh, and in terms of length uh, the standard guide rail length that's included with the timber jig and guide rail system is three meters I don't know what that makes in, in uh, feet and, and inches. I think uh, 120 is about four feet. So basically mm. a bit over eight feet in standard length. But the as with, with all of our chainsaw mills, the guide rails are in sections. So you can extend it uh, for the length uh, you require. So. That's just the, the standard length that we have uh, chosen to have in yeah. the starter package, the timber jig with guide rail system. Isn't that one of the beauties about these products that you can form them after your product yeah, or your project? So they are pretty easy to adapt. Yeah, the the, and, the, uh, the modular nature of the of the machines makes it really nice yeah. to to um, to make the mill that you that you need. Build your to, mill, build yeah, your dreams. Yeah, to design, design your own mill. Uh, we have another question from D Dean Sörensson. When will an electric chainsaw for USA be available? Uh, we are working on one that we are testing so hopefully I don't know without promising too much next year we will have some sort of electric chainsaw option in the US mm. but no no uh, promises or, or uh, guarantees but but we we have an idea and hopefully we can uh, we can make that We're happen. We're on it. So is that 
The Logosol Big Mill Timber Jig Mini Sawmill. Black. If you go to logosol.com and just search, uh, go to uh, or logosol.us, wherever you are from, and choose chainsaw mills and ultra portable sawmills. You can find the uh, timber jig there. Portable sawmills, ultra portable sawmills. Then mm. there is uh, where you find the uh, the timber jig, Scott. So go to logosol.us or logosol.com uh, to find uh, the prices and more information about that. And if you should have any questions uh, after the stream or anything, just send us an email, uh, info at logosol.com. Or give us a call if you uh, go to the logosol.us page. You, can, uh, you will find the details to our US distributors. Uh, but you are happy to contact us here in Sweden as well, directly. Uh, so you can found, find the contact details to us as well. Uh, the M7 is the M7 chainsaw mill. We, we got another question here from Scott. Okay. Uh, is there a difference in an M7? Uh, the M7 chainsaw mill is very similar to the F2 and F2 plus chainsaw mills we have today. A really good sturdy chainsaw yeah. mill uh, with the same uh, rail system as we have today so all uh, chainsaw carriages and, and everything will uh, fit on the M7 so the M7 is a is a really uh, good choice but it's not a timber jig it's it's more like these um, F2 and F2 plus uh, chainsaw mills mm. so but a, but a really good good choice to to start with Uh, the M7 is from, I don't know, from the early 2000 to 2010. 2010. So we had the M7 model for for a bit over 10 years, I think. But we can say that it's a re it's a really really nice model as well. Yeah, it is. So, is there anything else uh, worth mentioning in regards of the F2 and F2 Plus chainsaw mills? Maybe. We have, uh, actually, um, I forgot to mention it. We talked about the, uh, the portability and the possibility to, to split the F2 Plus in, in uh, more manageable pieces and it's easy to put them together. We did a live stream uh, this winter mm. where we... Uh, showed exactly this so if you go into youtube or facebook you can find that um, live stream still and uh, see how how we did you were saying something? Yeah, maybe, maybe we should summarize hmm? so <coughs> we have these saw chainsaw mills they are fun easy to use and you can get a great result they're both portable. Maybe the F2 is a tad more portable since you can detach the guide rail and uh, the F2 plus. Yeah, the F2 plus mm -hmm. uh, while keeping it aligned. Um, you can you, you can mill a little bit bro broader boards on the F2 plus. So you go from a log day diam diameter from for 50 to 70. What we else? We have the lifting system. Yeah, you have a stronger gearing system in the F2 Plus. And the, uh, the increments of quarter of an inch, which makes them uh, both sawmills really easy to yeah. use. And you can take the curve into account uh, by using the built-in uh, lifting system, the, the click system that we have. So uh, They're on the same on the bo both of the models. Yeah, so it's, it, it works the same. It's really easy. Even though we are a bit stronger on the F2 Plus, mm. uh, since we have another ratio for the for the lifting system, uh, so both sawmills very easy to use. Uh, 
a chainsaw mill in terms of surface finish and straightness of the cut is phenomenal and can't be compared to a, a bandsaw mill actually if you want to mill these uh, dimensions of logs. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got answers to all your questions. If not, please reach out to us, send an email to info@logosul.com and you will uh, get in contact with Logosul here in Sweden. So uh, have a nice summer and uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.